Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that burger subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1K ladder. We are only nine subscribers away from 1,100, currently sitting at 1,091 subscribers. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded the past couple days. I need to take a break and play test this new format because I was uploading like three videos a day between the 6th and 7th of February. It was, it was insane. So, I want to talk about some new news that came out. Uh... <laughs> Time to construct the deadliest burger with Nuvellas, aka Gordon Ramsay and Ratatouille on a bad acid trip. I hope you're prepared for the terrible cooking puns and Gordon Ramsay puns that I'm going to be making in this video, at least most likely. So I'm not going to read this whole thing from YGO Organization. It's pretty irrelevant. They're just saying that the name is subject to change. So who cares? <laughs> who cares if I could talk today? Um, so this is a Barilla Baz de Novellas. This is like French cuisine, so be ready for that. This is a level one dark beast warrior ritual effect monster with 400 attack, 1850 defense. You can ritual some of this card with any recipe card. So keep in mind that the ritual spell hamburger recipe is a recipe card, ladies and gentlemen. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is special summoned, you can activate the top five cards of your, of your deck. And if you do, you can, you can add, if I could talk today, one excavated Nuvella's card to your hand. Also, shuffle the rest back into the deck. When a card effect is activated that targets this card, or when this card's targeted for an attack, quick effect, you contribute this card to one other attack position monster on either field. And if you do special summon one level two or three Nuvella's ritual monster from your hand or deck. That's something that a lot of these ritual monsters have in common, is that uh, they can tribute themselves and then one other attack position monster on either field to special summon a higher level ritual monster. Uh, so then this one is Confitras de Novelles, a.k.a. Uh, uh, Gordon Ramsay's uh, Rice, or whatever that fancy rice is. I don't even remember the name. Level 2 Dark Warrior Ritual Effect Monster, 800 attack, 1850 defense. Risotto, that's what it is. <laughs> you can ritual summon this card with any recipe card. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card's special summon, you can target one spell or trap on the field and destroy it. Okay. When a card or effect is activated that targets this card, or when this card's targeted for attack, quick effect, you contribute this card and one other attack position monster on either field. If you do special summon one level three or four Nuvella's Ritual Monster from your hand or deck. You see the idea here? This one's a level two. It can get a three or four. The level one can get a two or three, so on and so forth. Next up here is Poletez de Novelez, level three Dark Beast Warrior Ritual Fet Monster, 1200 tech, 1850 defense. I have a lot of European viewers, so if I'm botching these names, then please let me know, because I'm sure I am. Ritual summon this card with any recipe card. Only use the first and second effect of this card name once per turn. If this card special summon, draw a card. Cute. When a card or effect is activated that targets a monster, monsters on the field, or when a monster is targeted for an attack, Quick effect, you contribute both one Nuvella's monster you control, one attack position monster on either field. If you do special summon one level four or five Nuvella's ritual monster from your hander deck. Okay, cool. Uh, then we have Foy, Foy Gras, Foy Gras de Novellas, whatever. <laughs> level four Dark Warrior Ritual Fight Monster, 1600 attack, 1850 defense. Uh, yeah, th this this art is definitely Ratatouille on acid. You enrich summon this card with any recipe card. You can only use the, the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is special summon, you can target up to three cards in, every, in any graveyards, shuffle them into the deck. Okay. When a card effect is activated that targets a monster or monsters on the field, or when a monster is targeted for an attack, quick effect, you contribute both one Nuvella's monster you control, one attack position monster on either field, especially some of the level five or six Nuvella's ritual monster from your hander deck. That's cute. Uh, this is Ratatouille's girlfriend here. <laughs> uh, this is Bella Muir de Novellas. I have no idea how to say these names. Level four Dark Beast Warrior Ritual Fet Monster, 2000 Attack, 1850 Defense. Notice that they all have 1850 Defense, just like Hungry Burger. Ritual Summon this card with any recipe card, blah, 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 blah. If this card special some, you can add one Novellas or recipe card from your deck to your hand. Second effect, you can target one opponent's attack position monster, tribute it, and if you do, special summon one level six Novellas Ritual Monster from your hand or deck. This is a quick effect if this card is special summoned by a Novellas Monsters effect. So, this seems to be the shtick. Like, you start off with the low level and work your way up all the way to the highest level, which is really funny if you think about it, because that means that, like, the opponent goes to their battle phase and they try to attack into the low level one, then they're going to have to attack, like, four or five times by the time that they get to, but that you get to the level five or level six before the attack finally goes through. Because remember, whenever a number of monsters changes on the field or another monster is played to the field, a replay occurs. So you're constantly getting a replay of an attack over and over again. Am I saying that that's toxic? Not necessarily, but it's definitely annoying. Uh, I could definitely see whoever's playing this Hungry Burger deck to increase their life points some way and then just make you have to redeclare attacks over and over again and win in time. That would be some baby back bullshit. Then we have Bay Griller Nuvellas. Okay, level uh level six twenty four hundred eighteen fifty dark warrior ritual effect. Ritual summon this card with any recipe card. Blah blah blah. If this card special summon. You can negate the effects of as many face up cards your opponent currently controls as possible until the end of this turn. And then if it was special summoned by a Nuvella's monsters effect, tribute all monsters they control. 
that's that's really interesting because it doesn't destroy it just tributes so anyway keep that in mind quick effect you can target one opponent's attack position monster tribute it and if you do special summon one hungry burger from your hand or deck we have come full circle ladies and gentlemen hungry burger is an archetype cool so then we have Nouvelle's Ag Bear, a, a table, a table, a.k.a. Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. <laughs> uh, field spell. So you can only have one card with this card's name per turn. When this card resolves, you can add one recipe card from your deck or grave to your hand. Hamburger recipe literally just became fucking searchable, ladies and gentlemen. Once per turn, you can place one ritual monster from your hand on the bottom of the deck. Draw a card. Okay. During your end phase, you can target two cards in your graveyard, including at least one recipe card. Place them on the bottom of the deck in any order, then draw a card. This field spell is actually pretty solid. Like, I know I'm not really, like, kind of freaking out, making big reactions to this, but it's just, like, these cards don't seem amazingly good, at least until we get to the fucking Infernity Barrier, then it's just, like, really? Um, but, I mean, th this archetype seems interesting. And also, we don't know when we're getting this. Because, remember, this is out of DBWS, so this is, like, out of a Duelist pack. So this, if you saw my uh, video the other day on, like, the new Dinosaur support then this is also in there. So what's most likely going to happen is that this new Vela's archetype and those new dinosaur cards are going to get dumped into some sort of core set. Whether that's, I don't think it'd be Cyberstorm Access. So it'd probably be the next set after that. Or it would be, you know, maybe like a side set. So just keep that in mind. Next up, we have Rizette de Poison Fish Recipe. She uh, She's tasting that lamb sauce. <laughs> We're looking for where the lamb sauce is at. <laughs> this card can be used to ritual summon any new vela as a ritual monster. Ritual summon one new vela as a ritual monster from your hand by tributing monsters from your hand or field whose total levels equal or exceed the level of the ritual monster you ritual summon. Then if you ritual summon new vela as Bulubala Babazi with this effect, you can add one recipe ritual spell from your deck or grave to your hand and accept itself. That's interesting. Uh, this one is uh, You're on Fire, Tom, if you've seen that uh, Hell's Kitchen clip. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> uh, this is Risette di Vanande Meat Recipe. Uh, it can be used to ritual summon any new Vela's Ritual. You can ritual summon new Vela's Ritual Monster from your hand, tributing monsters from hand or field whose total levels equal or exceed the level of the monster. Then if you ritual summon Confrichas de Novelas with this effect, you can change all opponents' defense position monsters to face of attack position. This seems absolutely terrible. I don't know why you would ever do this. Um... Yeah, and see, that's, like, what's kind of lackluster to me about this archetype is, like, what's your end goal here? Like, uh, uh, unless we're getting more support down the pipeline. This is a Reset de Personnel Cook's Recipe. We're, uh, we're looking for the risotto. <laughs> you can only use the first and second effect this card's name each once per turn. Oh, this is the card that's really funny to me. So you target a ritual monster you control. Special summon one new Vela's token. It's a Fiend Dark level one with 50 attack and defense. And if you do, its level becomes that monster's. Guarantee to you when we get this archetype, someone's going to activate this trap card in the battle phase and swing for 50 damage and win in time by 50 life points, bro. Someone's going to be pissed when they lose to this, and I guarantee you it's going to be me because I'm going to, with my terrible dog water luck, I'm going to face the one dude in this room playing this shit deck. You could send this face-up card from your spell and trap zone in the graveyard. Ritual summon one new vela as a ritual monster from your hand. By tributing monsters from your hand or field, its total levels exactly equal to the level of the ritual monster you ritual summon. I mean, I guess, like, they have a ritual trap card. I'd be interested to see if, like, people are going to combine Necroz with this. Because to me, Necroz is, like, the pinnacle of rituals. Like, if you're getting Necroz level support, you're a good ritual deck. Uh, and then last but not least, we have the uh, Infernity Barrier, literally. A Rosette di Specialte, Chef's Specialty Recipe. Counter Trap, only use the first and second effect. This card's in once per turn. When a spell, trap, or monster effect is activated, and you control a Novella's Ritual Monster and negate the activation. Then if you control a monster, special summon by a Novella's Monster's effect, you can destroy that card. If you special summon Hungry Burger, you can banish this card from your grave. Tribute all monsters your opponent controls. Wow. So we now... <laughs> Hungry Burger has an Infernity Barrier, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this is just hilarious to me. Now, will Hungry Burger see play in this archetype? Maybe it's like a one of, honestly. Kind of makes me wonder the price of uh, Hungry Burgers at this point. But uh, yeah, you guys, this is your uh, Gordon Ramsay and Ratatouille had a baby, the archetype. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.